If you're in search of an incredible ruby knife snack to serve your family and friends, you have got to try homemade kettle corn. Every time I make this, my friends ask for the recipe and then rush home to buy everything they need to make it. I'm Whitney from Sweet Cayenne, and once you try this popcorn recipe, it'll become your go-to snack for movie and game nights. To make the best popcorn at home, I think you've got to have a whirly pop. I was lucky enough to get this for my birthday one year from my mom, and ever since I started using it, I've never gone back to microwave popcorn. The Whirly Pop is great, and it works like a cast iron skillet in that it gets seasoned over time. So the more you use your Whirly Pop to make popcorn, the better it's going to taste. Let's go make some. Place your Whirly Pop over medium heat, and then after about a minute, add three tablespoons of oil. Let that heat up until it's shiny, and then you'll add half a cup of your popcorn kernels. Once those start to sizzle, add in one quarter cup of sugar, shut the lid, and slowly turn the crank on the whirly pop until you hear it pops. Once the popping stops, remove it from the heat right away and transfer the popcorn to a serving bowl. Popcorn is hot and ready to go, so I'm just going to put it in my pretty big popcorn bowl here. This was actually Ryan's grandmother's popcorn bowl, so it's really special when we get to use it. You have to dump it out right away, otherwise this popcorn is going to stick in there because of all the sugar. So I'm just going to get my spatula to dig the rest of it out. So you can see our popcorn in there, it's nice and caramelized, and while it's still hot, you want to add the salt. So I like a lot of salt on my popcorn. So sometimes I use this Morton Light salt because it's half the sodium, but it still tastes pretty salty. So add your salt on there, then use a rubber spatula to mix it all up. And then you can serve yourself some hot, fresh kettle corn. It tastes just as good as the kettle corn that you would get at the farmer's market or a fair. It's amazing, and once you start eating it, you can't stop. So a fun variation on this kettle corn is while it's still hot, maybe you add some M&Ms or some Reese's Pieces to it, toss it around, and that candy's gonna melt all over it, and then let it cool for a few minutes to harden, and that is an even more decadent treat. Mm, it's got the perfect combination of sweet and salty, and the sugar kind of caramelized on the outside. Can't beat it. So if you want a savory version of Whirly Pop popcorn, just top up a batch of plain popcorn, just the kernels and oil, and then to that, I have melted some butter and some buffalo wing sauce. So about two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of the buffalo wing sauce. And I'm just going to drizzle that over the popcorn. While it is still fresh on there, I'm going to add some powdered cheese, okay? Now you can buy this on Amazon. I got mine at an Amish market on a road trip that we took, and it was about $4. It's white cheddar cheese seasoning. And so just put that on top of the melted butter and buffalo sauce, and then toss it all together. And that butter buffalo sauce mixture is going to help the cheese coat the outside of the popcorn. And I don't know about you, but I like blood. So I'll add some extra. Oh, this smells so good. It smells spicy and hot. And now we're just going to add that to our popcorn bowl. And it looks just like cheese popcorn, like you would get at a popcorn store, but it's homemade. And you know exactly what went into it. And you can also make this with vegan butter if you're feeling dairy free. So now it's time for the taste test. Spicy, cheesy, salty, hot. Everything you want for a movie night or game night snack. Now I bet you they taste cooked together. Let's see. Sweet and salty. Mmm. I was right. So the Whirly Pop is actually pretty easy to clean, just like a cast iron skillet. You want to let it cool off first, and then you just pop the top off, like so. And like a cast iron skillet, you want to avoid cleaning this with soap. If you just pop popcorn and oil in it, all you need to do is wipe it out with a paper towel. 
However, if you've made kettle corn and some of that sugar is stuck to the bottom, you can just put some hot water in the bottom of your whirly pop, let it sit for a few minutes, and then pour it out and wipe out any remaining residue with a damp paper towel. That's all you need to do. Just try and avoid using soap. Everything you need to make these popcorn recipes is listed in the description below, including a printable version of the recipe. Both of these popcorn recipes are the ultimate movie night, game night snack. And I also love to make them when we're invited to a party and I need to take something last minute. Everybody goes nuts over them and when you learn to make them, there's no need for any more store-bought cookie trays. I hope you get a chance to try them. If you like this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, check out this playlist for my top 10 best recipes and I'll see you in the next video. It's like really stuck in there. Because we waited too long trying to get into packing. Yep.